Hi, I'm Sosa Santos. I'm here exhibiting in Art Winwood. Art Winwood is a fair that takes place in Miami. And I want to take you backwards chronologically to show you how a painting is built in the studio and what it takes to show it to the world. Let me take you back and show you what was the life of this painting before it got here. In order to exhibit in an art fair, you have to be working with a gallery that applies and gets uh, accepted to an art fair. And many art fairs have re different requirements and different styles of galleries that they like to accept. And I'm working with a gallery that mostly carries contemporary art of different types, of different genres. What I really like about the gallery that represents me is that every work, every artist they have has a nice finish to the work. It's very clean, it's very elegant. And that's why I think I belong here. And that's what they saw about my work. I'm just gonna stretch the painting because I want to present it in that very clean, simple way uh, because it matches actually the fair environment. And any collector, if they buy it, they can frame it um, the way they want it to match whatever architecture they have or style of other works they have. Sometimes I have a painting that I specifically want to frame in a certain way, but most of the time I'm pretty open. I like the image and I'm pretty open to uh, leaving it uh, to be framed by the taste of the collector. This neighborhood where the framer is, is called Little Havana. We're gonna go to 8th Street. That's the heart of Little Havana. And they call it Little Havana because it was a community of Cubans in this neighborhood. And actually that inspired and attracted older countries in Latin America to have uh, their base here and move around here. So now you're gonna see many, many cultures but uh, it's still called Little Havana, but it's a um, it's really interesting mix. And uh, since I'm always working in my studio <clears throat> and I'm painting there, focused there, in a way I come here to have them do the work because uh, I get to go out, say hi to people, and it's cool to see um, in the framer what they're working on. Maybe they tell me a story, a show coming up or something. So this is a good place to learn about a little bit of the gossiping in the art world. There is a moment that you have to get your art out there. You have to learn how to deal with other people and have a good relationship. It's important to create a solid team, a strong team of professionals that will take your art to the next level. I've been working with these framers for a while, for many years and and they have gotten used to me showing up suddenly and needing my work frame or stretch uh, last minute. I'm glad that even though they're always busy with work and they have a lot of things to Hello. do, they always Sorry. find a room to put my preferences and to put my projects ahead, enabling me to be ready when I need a painting to be stretched to show a collector or take it to a show. Sometimes you find treasures like this. This is pretty cool. Look, a light bulb in a frame. Look at this. <laughs> the reason I don't stretch my canvas is because I don't like to be constrained by the borders, by the boundaries of a of an already stretched canvas, by the size. I rather paint and, and then I decide where to crop it, where the boundaries are going to be after I finish painting. Before hanging on a wall, the painting needs a skeleton. It needs a frame to give a body to protect its vital organs, if I may use that metaphor. Sometimes I frame my paintings, but other times I just uh, leave them on the stretchers to show the side of the canvas. And in this case, it was uh, I thought it was a good idea because it will show the true colors of that linen quality. 
Cuban coffee will wake you up. I'll make you stretch any painting. I normally don't drink coffee. Why not take the opportunity to drink some good coffee and have a good conversation with a Cuban friend? Let me take you back a little bit though, because before we take a painting to a framer, we have to create something worth stretching and worth showing. Before all that, an idea had to take form. That form that we see in the last layers of painting of composition, where the elements of design are orchestrated, where the line, the value, the color, the shape and edges uh, work together in harmony as, uh, as if they were dancing. Before we do those glazing and tonings on the canvas, before we refine the surface with that finished look, we were discovering color harmony, trying to arrange the value harmony, uh, simplifying the values and looking for broad statements of color application while fixing shapes, fixing that expression to make her feel that she's alive. And all that goes on top of a more simple, more thin layer of paint that sometimes we can do as monochrome, sometimes we can add a little bit of the flesh complexion to serve a little bit better for those upper layers. This dead coloring stage that is going to support the rest of the quality of the painting, the rest of the, of the harmony and the rest of the finishing aspects goes on top of this drawing stage. The drawing stage is the beginning, is the idea, is the, it's like the head start for all these values and colors to play on top and within it. So the charcoal has to show the proportions correctly, maybe a little bit of hint of where the light is falling from. We want to be specific about the placement at the time of the charcoal drawing. Since drawing is the infrastructure for the whole painting, it's important to have this uh, charcoal marks in place, refined, with enough information. We don't, we don't want to overdraw this stage because remember, all this is going to be covered. Before I started drawing with the charcoal, I made sure I had a good solid foundation with the gesso, with the white gesso underneath my main subject so that that gesso will support the colors of oil on top of this. And after all that hard work is done, we come to celebrate the painting's birth and its first encounter with the public eye. Let's wrap this video up. From creation to exhibition. You are responsible for it. Make your career a mission and go and keep opening doors. Yeah! <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs>